Hi, welcome to sixpackabsexercises.com. This is your coach Carl and today I'll answer a question from Jim. Jim from California. He's 25, has been training for three years. He says, when I try to build muscles and grow bulky, I add fat and my abs are not defined. When I diet to lose fat, though, my six pack, uh, I see my six pack but I become skinny. Uh, I've been tr working out for three years um, and I'm aiming for 175 pounds at 10% body fat, but instead I end up achieving 150 pound 10% body fat or 175 pounds 14% body fat. So uh, my weight goes up by 25 pounds, it's 6 pounds muscle and 9 pounds of fat. Can you please guide me on how to put weight on without adding fat? And how do these bodybuilders manage to grow so huge while still maintaining single digit body fat? Okay, thanks a lot for your question, Jim. I'll answer the one about the bodybuilders right away. They use drugs. Um, it's as simple as that. The pro bodybuilders, uh, we, you would see like Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutlers, and um, guys like that. You do have to keep in mind that they train their training, their nutrition, their recovery, everything basically is perfect. These guys are high level elites and they bust their asses off. But they do use drugs and uh, it's the drug that lets them um, get so huge with a single percent uh, body fat. So a single legit percent body fat. So uh, that's how they do it. Um, is it um, achievable for you? Well, yes, you can go to a single digit person body fat, but probably not while you'll be that muscular. Your goal is 175 pounds and 10%. I think that's doable. Uh, you've been training for three years. Um, I'm guessing that you probably um, approaching that goal slowly. What you should do like I've uh, talked about recently, is uh, alternating, switching between phases where you gain muscle and a bit of fat and phases where you shed off that fat but you keep the muscle on. And the key here is to manipulate how much you eat. So in the building muscle phase, you want a positive energy balance. So you want to eat more energy than you spend. And you want it just high enough so you build muscle, but not too high so that you become fat as well. So you want to gain the maximum amount of muscle possible without becoming fat at the same time. So you need to find that sweet spot. And the best way to do that is to record uh, what you eat and then weigh yourself every second day. If you should be taking about uh, 0.5 pound a week, so if you gain that, uh, it's probably mostly muscle. If, it's, if you're gaining more weight, then you need to eat less. So go back to your journal, find out how much you've been eating, and try to eat a little less. And this applies to the fat loss phase as well. So for that phase, you weigh yourself a lot, and you uh, record everything you eat. And if you're losing more than 0.5 pound of body weight per week, you're probably losing some muscle along with the fat. So then you need to start a little eating a little more. So that's how you do it. Thanks a lot for your question. Um, I think if you tweak those things, you'll manage to get to that 170 pounds, 10% body fat. If you've got a question and you'd like me to answer it, send it in below. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon.